Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Cy here with another Castle Clash video. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I want to discuss might, how it's earned, how much you can get, and how to boost your might quickly. And I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a rundown of the numbers uh, off the top of my head, the best I can, and um, also show you in action in game how much might you gain from certain uh, certain things. So. Uh, for example, if we uh, if we take a mana mill right here, if you look at my might, it's thirty two thousand seven hundred fifty nine, and we level it up, it went up three might. So leveling buildings gets you anywhere from three, or rather one to fifty might, depending upon the building. Um, mana mills, mana vaults, mana gold vaults, gold mines. Um, and I believe army camps all give you around three. Your hero's altar gives you 10 per level, your town hall gives you 50 per level, and your hero bases give you one might per level. And I believe the advanced towers give you uh, a slightly larger number. I can't remember exactly. I want to say it's 10. So, all in all, if you max all your buildings, you get around 5,000 might, which is good. That's really good. But if that's all you're doing, you need to be doing more and I'm gonna get into that in a minute here secondly a way that you can increase your might is through spells so you go into magic and you hit increase once you have all of these spells all across the board increase to level 5 and now you have to get the building up in levels though in order to increase all those spells to level 5 I want to say it has to be to at least level 19 or 20 anyways uh, that will get you uh, approximately five to six thousand might which is also good that's very good to have and then in your troops once you have all these troops unlocked in your training center and up to level five again you'll get anywhere from five to six thousand might I want to say it's up near six don't quote me on this I'm doing it off the top of my head I apologize I have all the numbers in front of me but I misplaced them so anyways um, now, I've had people message me in line chat and ask me, you know, Cyrus, how did you get from, you said you started this account at 14,000 might back in January, how are you already at 32,000 might? Well, for those of you that have been playing this game for a while and know how it works, you already know the answer. It's heroes. It's Christians and your skill levels. Now, some people tell me, I've been playing for 9 months, 12 months, and I'm at 18,000 might. Well, yeah, I'm assuming you don't have a lot of heroes in your altar. And the reason Heroes is so important is because there's a formula that IGG has developed in order to increase might based on four things. One, your hero's level. So a level 156 Skull Knight gains five might for every level. Two, five out of ten hero, legendary hero, gains 59.5 might for every skill level. Talents. Talents give you 20 might for every level out of 8 or 5. So this skull knight alone has 80 might from his, his uh, talent. About, oh man, I'm going to head real quick, sorry. 5, 250, 5 times. About 300 might from this uh, skill level and approximately, let's call it 1 60 times 5, 500, 800 more might from his, uh, his actual hero level. Then nothing really not recently, but recent for me, is movement speed. They take the movement speed of the hero minus a certain amount and add that to the might as well. It's all factored in. You can find all this information on Castle Flash Wiki. Uh, dot com. But so the higher the movement speed of the heroes, the better off you're gonna be when it comes to boosting might. So a hero altar, for example, full of skull knights and ninjas, since though and dread drakes is going to have a lot more might than a altar full of Atlanta cores and Reapers, even if they're all exactly the same skill exactly the same level and exactly the same inscription now inscriptions inscriptions add the 
the same amount of money no matter what kind of hero it is. And so you may be asking yourself, well, Cyrus, what are you talking about what kind of hero it is? Aha. So here's where it gets interesting. Elite heroes. Elite heroes only gain about, what is it, 3.5 might per level. And I want to say 37 might per skill level. The talent stays the same. If it's a 1, it's 20. If it's a 5, it's 100. You gain 20 additional might per level of the skill for the talent, or the per level of the talent, excuse me. But the crest and the talent are the ones that stay the same irregardless of the hero. Now, with the ordinary heroes, you only gain 2 might for every level that that hero is. So this, this level 80 Frost Witch is only 160 might based off of just her level, whereas a level 80 legendary hero is worth 8 times 5, 400 might. And so you're like, okay, Cyrus, that's cool, but how do you know this? Okay, well, here in your hero altar, you have a hero score, which used to be labeled as might. So I'm going to show you just how, how you can check just how much might your hero has. So this dryad at 3 of 10 skill at level 20 with a 4 of 8 talent has 179 approximate might. Whereas this level 20, 3 of 10 engineer has 160 approximate might because her talent is higher with a 4 of 8 tenacity and his is a 3 of 8 self destruct. And then this angel has 198 because her talent is higher. And it's all rounded up to the nearest one. There's no decimals. Everything after the decimals is, is done away. But you can't really like calculate it yourself and try to debate with IGG how much might you should have and things of that nature. You want to get your might up, you need to have legendary heroes with the highest talent they can get. If you have and in, in your in your core team, you want to get them up in skill level, in star level, and inscription level. All the way up to a hundred. And then all your backup heroes, you're gonna want to increase. You'll see I have all these ninjas here. I have them at two of ten skill. Almost all my backups are except for that one that I just recently got, are at two of ten skill because of the extra fifty-nine point five might boost that it gives. So for all these heroes, it may not seem like a, a whole lot, but it adds up. In fact, I probably need to go ahead and increase that ninja while I'm looking at this. I can't believe I overlooked that. So, also you see people rolling talents and they're like, and other YouTubers and other videos and things of that nature. They're like, oh, I'll just throw it on here for a might booster. That's what they're talking about. It gives you an extra 20 might. You do that to every single hero and you fill up your altar with level five talents as opposed to level one talents. It gives you an extra 80 might per hero. And so, again, the key things are, like I said, I have 50 hero altar slots. And I've never had to waste any gems on it. You don't need to. So, I'm going to show you, um, I've got about 100,000 100, honor badges here. Things you're going to need to boost your might. If you're like, okay, cool, I just saw Cyrus's video, I want to boost my might. You're going to need a few things. You're going to need gold. You're going to need honor badges, but you're also going to need flames. And what do I mean by flames? I mean flames from clearing dungeons. Because see right here, you have gold, honor badges, and flames. You need to clear a certain amount of dungeons in order to upgrade your heroes. So, if you're just starting out this game and you're like, well, what do I need to focus on? Do I need to focus on heroes monsters? Do I need to focus on this? Focus on dungeons. Until you've got your might up above 10,000, Focus on dungeons and then make sure you do your Lost Realm daily so that you can gain opportunities to upgrade your blue crystal mills so that you can hold and store and gain more blue crystals so that you can up your inscriptions. So, for example, I just recently uncapped my Thunder God, but I and I once they're at level 10 stars, 27 stars. 80 inscription. I took him up to 80 inscription. But right now, I'm working on my Orc Bane. And I've got him at 71. So what we need is we need more mana. I'm not going to sit here 
and run you through all that. I, what, you, what we're going to do instead is I'm going to show you the difference it makes when we uncap a hero. In fact, I'm going to uncap this level 80. Which one has more might? I'm going to start the We're going to upgrade this ninja. Okay, take a look at my might. 32,676. Or 767. Excuse me, I'm a little dyslexic. We're going to put this ninja in here. Ah, excuse me. And you're like, okay, well, which one do I know to grab? There's a four star ninja and there's a five star ninja, but it also shows you the talent. So we're going to put him in here. We're going to do one HVMP sweep, and that should hopefully be enough experience to take him up to 100. And it just did. And look at our might. It went from 32,767 to 32,873. And you're like, okay, cool. Yeah, I know that, Cyrus. Well, what else? Well, inscribe that hero just went up another level so inscribe him now look you'll see him there he's got level 100 with all the rest of his buddies but he's only scribes to level 20 so what we say our number was 32 873 right heavy blow ninja inscribe now he can hold a crest set and 32 879 your inscriptions will go up anywhere from 3 to 6 to 9 to 12. So you have more might per inscription based upon how high the level is. And again, this information can be found on wiki slash or dot. I think it's wikia.castleclash.com, something of that nature. Just Google uh, Castle Clash Wiki and you will find that information. And it'll help you out so much. So we, ins we just keep inscribing until we've run out of mana. And look, we're already almost at, we're at 32,897. It doesn't increase it as much as taking a hero up, but you're using mana and blue crystals, something you have a lot more of, more like most likely, than honor badges. Because honor badges, when you're first starting off playing the game, are a little hard to come by. Now you're like, okay, Cyrus, why do I need to play Lost Realm every day? Well, you need to play Lost Realm every day because... You need to keep going around and hope that when you get a merchant and you're able to get um, to be able to buy blue crystals. Also, when you battle these for these uh, mobs here, you win red crystals. And those red crystals, while they're also used for evolving heroes later down the line, you need those red crystals in order to level up your mana mines. So not your mana mines. Ooh, oh, rare crest bag, sweet. So I got 45 blue crystals there, and I got a merchant. Unfortunately, I don't have any gold. So always make sure you have plenty of gold before you go in. See, if I did, I could buy two of these 20,000 blue crystal boxes, which gives me 40,000 blue crystals, which will go towards inscribing my heroes. So for 200,000, I can buy... Well, actually, that's a better deal. I can buy four of these 5,000 bags, which gives me... Oh, no, that's not a better deal. I only get 20 grand, so whatever. Excuse me, brain fart. So, that's what you want to try to do. Always make sure you have full gold bolts before you go into Lost Realm. And then keep leveling up. I've got 13,000 red crystals up here. They're used to combine crests or upgrade crystal mines. So, I've got my crystal mines at level 11. And you can see here at the info, they can store 3,800 blue crystals and they produce 3,800. I believe that's an hour. So... I'm going to go ahead and just upgrade a couple of these since I've got enough to do so. And I'm going to hang on to a few red crystals in case I want to combine a few crests later. And you know what, let's just upgrade them all. There we go. And now I can store more. Another way is by taking these battle altars. Uh, I've occupied this one for about 8 days. Uh, the only way to make these level up is in order for them is for them to get occupied by other people. And that will happen more often as you increase your level in Lost Realm. So you'll have more area for exploration and have more battle altars to try to attack. And it'll also be based, I believe, off your might. But So it does get a little more difficult, but that's the whole point of this game is for it to be challenging and for it to be fun as well at the same time. So oh, I think I covered everything that I can think of. I'm trying to keep this as short as possible 
while still giving a good run through on what it takes to boost your might. Um, what else? What else? Okay, we covered buildings, we covered spells, we covered troops you need to hire. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Um, do yourselves a favor. Do not and do not, do not, if you don't have to, buy heroes with shards. Once you save up gems, go ahead and roll those gems in hopes of getting a legendary hero. Now, the heroes I would advise you to just go ahead and buy with shards um, would not be a druid. Would be a thunder god because if you're just starting off the game and you haven't had any luck, he is very helpful in HBM and dungeons. Uh, druid, you're going to get one after 20 days or 21 days. If you're uh, having trouble with team boss or with your guild boss, purchase a champion if you save up enough shards. Um, and, I mean, if you've just got an overabundance of shards and you're like, I want to boost my light quick, I don't care what it takes, buy you a bunch of these guys. Buy a crap ton of ninjas and boost them up to, say, 3 or 4, maybe 3 of 10 skill and about, you know, 120 uncapped at 7 star and get all their inscriptions up to 80 and you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll be up there in really high might. But being high might without a strong lineup to handle raids and those other high might people, it, it'll be pretty difficult. So make sure you focus on your core team. You know, this is my core team. My core team consists of Druid, Pumpkin Duke, Skull Knight, Santa Boom, and Cupid, sometimes Orcs Bane and Thunder God and Immortep. So, you know, I alternate them around here and there. You know, not everyone's as lucky to get these. Um, honestly, I got to say, if you if you don't have Pumpkin Duke, open up a bunch of different accounts if you're just starting this game, right? Open up a bunch of different accounts and roll on those different accounts until you get a Pumpkin Duke at least. And make that one your main account that you want to focus on now eventually you're going to be like man i got pumpkin duke now i need cupid but that will come in time you know there's people out there who are free to pay free to play players who just save up gems and don't spend a whole lot of money and they've already made it to insane dungeon 4-10 and they're sweeping that and have beaten hbmt so it is possible it will just take you a little bit longer than those pay-to-play players that are able to drop insane amounts of money into this game, and we all envy them, of course. So, um, I believe that's everything I wanted to cover. Um, you know, I, I, I honestly don't know what else to do. Let's do let's do a couple hero rolls. Why not? Let's just do one four fifty. See what we get. We got another Atlanta Corp. Cool. Hey, I'll take an extra legendary hero. It's that easy. Look at that. So we've got this Atlanta core here. And now we've got another one here in our warehouse. We're going to go ahead and open him up. And we're going to use him to boost our might. Now, uh, another thing is once you get to the stage to leveling up your EVOed heroes, you automatically get a might boost based off your hero's skill level. Because EVO 1 and EVO 2 heroes are given more might per hero skill level than regular legendary heroes legendary heroes get 59.5 might per skill level and once you evil that hero they get i believe an additional 20 or 25 um might per skill level so that's an automatic boost so it's helpful to also get them up as well you may lose a little bit of might because you may have to consume another hero from your altar or because your hero is going essentially from 180 or 200 back down to level one so it for might purposes it is healthy to get that hero back up to the highest level that you can while still managing your resources the best you can so without further ado let's let's open up this atlanta core and see if he came with the high revite he did not but that's okay hey look at that i've got a one scorch waiting for him ha <laughs> That's just too funny. All right, well, I appreciate you watching this video. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Thanks.